Vines. I fucking hate octopus. <clears throat> and I had just remodeled that whole ship, too. Damn creature of the depths. <clears throat> I should have known the stories of Savar and the Kraken were true. Huh? Hey, angelfish. Are you alright? Oh. Damn. And we'd both be at the bottom of the ocean if it wasn't for you. I'm glad to have someone who can breathe underwater on my side during that. It's okay, it's... I, I know, I know what you're thinking. But you're only one person. You couldn't have saved everyone. If you go back, he's not going to let you escape for a second time. And he did a number on your tail. The fact that we made it out alive was... a miracle. We almost didn't. I guess he didn't think there would be a merfolk on board. So that's how we survived, right? You wouldn't get that chance again, is what I'm trying to say. They knew what they were doing following me into the depths. They were the best crew anyone could have asked for. Loyal to a f fault. Fuck. <sighs> May they rest in Kel's embrace. But we... We haven't fallen. Not yet. And it looks like we washed up on one of the dozens of fractal islands off the coast of Golkala. These things are so numerous and empty that... No one even cares to visit them. Aye. It's most likely a desert island. No people. Huh. <laughs> I'm glad at least you found this place, though. After Savar and racked me against the bow of the ship, I was... I was unconscious for most of you saving me. Huh? What do you mean you thought I saved you? Uh, you didn't find this place? <laughs> you lost a lot of blood on the way out and passed out after we got far enough. So what? Are you saying we both went unconscious and just happened to wash up here? Aye, that's odd. And I've been on the water my whole life. <laughs> Can you believe it? Did we have good luck for once? Couldn't have been me. Must have hit a good current or something in the nick of time. Otherwise, I would have drowned. Well, I guess there's no time to waste on thinking too much about it. Well, it's time to capitalize on that rare stroke of good luck and keep us alive. These trees and greenery do look promising, I. I remember using an island just like this one as an outpost for storing some loot from one of our old days. The Golkala area is known for its vibrant natural life, and with luck, we might be able to scrounge up some food, and if the wreckage starts washing up, maybe scavenge some stuff from that. Aye, I'm planning already. With no ship, 
and being cast out on a desert island. Huh. Looks like we might be here for a sec. And you need to get that tail of yours healed up before you even think about going out there again. I'm not losing you. I came close to it once. Never again. Might as well get comfortable here. We'll be here for quite a while, I think. Ugh, damn. And just when I was able to pay my brother and sister's debts. No more good luck. Shit luck. Your family too. We were on the cusp of taking them all away from their hellish lives and giving them a new one. Free from the corruption that seems to have sunk its claws in all of Altera. <laughs> the luck of Shay's silver tongue should be a cautionary tale. <laughs> but, at least one thing went right. I still have you here with me. Aye. Desert Island or no? I still have my greatest treasure in all the years I've been a pirate. And I'm still alive. So I guess that's good too. <laughs> uh, can't kill old Shay that easily, Savvy. But I did manage to hold on to one thing when we made our escape. It's vital. I never let it leave my side. In fact, it's literally tied to a string at my waist. Ah, <sighs> my other savior. Mwah. My flask. <laughs> yes, now I can happily inebriate myself with rum while trying to search this island for survivable conditions. Makes the process a lot smoother, Savvy. <laughs> <sighs> now, first things first. We need to find fresh water. Tropical islands might seem nice to you, but if you can't find any fresh water, any human will shrivel up and die of dehydration. I don't plan on dying like that after surviving the wrath of Savarn. I would rather go down with my ship in an epic showdown against the Kraken than become a raisin on a beach somewhere. Aye. No time like the present. Best we start searching this shred of land for anything we can use to keep us alive. Hmm. Come on, angelfish. When night falls, it'll get colder. Best we move inland and try to find a good place to make camp, start a fire and all that. <laughs> oh yeah. If there's one thing I can do, it's start a fire with nothing but a couple of sticks and some rocks. And oh boy, that seems to be the hot thing around here. And nothing else. <laughs> and if we can't find any growing food on the island, we can always fish in the shallows. Well, I've got a merfolk here with me. Should be a pinch, right? <laughs> oh, maybe you could go down there and get some kelp for me. <laughs> huh? Well, yes. I do seem oddly calm. Believe it or not, this isn't my first time I've been stranded on a desert island. It's kind of part of a pirate hazing ritual. They leave you on one for about a week, and if you survive, then you're part of the crew. Back before Shay Silvertongue was a captain, he was a deck swabber and barnacle scraper. Aye, that was until they finally dropped me off on one of these things, and when they picked me up... <laughs> I showed them. And then I took their fucking ship. <laughs> you see, Angelfish, I'm not just a pretty face and a silver tongue. I know how to survive in a place like this. But, sometimes you're shit out of luck. If they drop you on the wrong island, no fresh water, no resources, it's a lot harder. Come on. The sooner we get into the forest, the sooner we can start. Who knows? Maybe this island isn't abandoned after all, by the grace of the divines. 